It's been a wild couple weeks in the world of politics as both Daniel Smith and Rachel Notley have been under fire. The current Premier of Alberta has recently taken flack for saying she'll only be answering one question per reporter and no follow-ups will be allowed. A follow-up for years and I don't understand why we don't have a follow-up this time. Audrey, well, it's, a, it's an election. Right that, that's why we're, we're sort of getting into election mode and so we have lots of people who want to answer questions. Anything. Notley and the NDP fired back at the UCP at their most recent news conference indirectly calling out the Smith government. So thank you very much and I want to make it very clear that I'm happy to take uh, any questions from the media and any follow-up questions. Thank you. But at that very same conference, Notley ignored questions from one news organization as well as getting another reporter removed from the meeting. She claims she made the move because both reporters work for an organization that are discriminatory. With the provincial election set for May 29th and the UCP and NDP governments focusing on each other's mess-ups, it's leaving the voters of the city uncertain on where their vote lands. I was looking at voting NDP. I, I do need to do a little bit of more research on my own, given the fact that it seems everything is focused around this controversy and attack ads one way or the other. So I take a little bit more time to make my opinion and a decision. State students are not the only ones that are feeling uncertain about where their vote lands, with some polls showing the undecided voters are sitting quite high. Well, we are seeing, according to polling, sort of a gradual move in the direction of greater support for the NDP. And we're still a ways away from the election. Um, and there are a lot of undecided voters. Some polls are, are, are pegging the undecideds as, uh, as high as 25% of the electorate. Advanced voting for the election takes place May 23rd to May 27th, with the official results being announced June 8th. For State News File, I'm Travis Neal.